Hey y'all, uh, welcome over to Fritz's uh, Cooking Again's channel and today guys it's Sunday and today we're just going to make something uh, pretty easy. Um, we're going to have some fried chicken wings and I'm going to use that Hooters, uh, Hooters batter I got from, uh, from the value market which uh, I think is really really good batter. But uh, to go in accompaniment with it we're going to make some potato salad, some of uh, Fritz's potato salad here. And I didn't want to bore y'all to death boiling the potatoes but that's what I did, boiled them up, cubed them up. And I've actually got a mixture of uh, celery and onion here that we've uh, chopped with this uh, little brawn mixer here. And right here I've got some uh, red bell peppers. But I think this thing's pretty cool, guys. All you do is pop this, pop this puppy in here and, and give it a few pulses. All right, let me uh, get after this and we'll get right back. All right, guys, we're ready to get started here. We have uh, some boiled potatoes that we peeled and we cubed up. We got some onion, celery, and red bell pepper that we kind of uh, chopped up. And we've got some hard boiled eggs that we chopped up a little bit. And basically for our wet ingredients, we're gonna be utilizing our helmets and uh, mom's secret ingredient, the, the gray poupon. And we're gonna add a little celery seed. I like to put dill in mine along with the sweet relish and of course we have to have some of this rocking red hot sweet chili sauce from Frank's and just for a little uh, color some uh, some uh, French's mustard here yellow mustard and just salt and pepper to taste guys it's not that really that complicated so uh, let's go ahead and get started guys I'm going to go ahead and dump in my onion celery and bell pepper get all that into the poo like I said uh, I'm doing this early in the in the day here before I fry my chicken wings just to let all the flavors marry and everything. So we got that incorporated. Let's go ahead and get our eggs in here. Just a few. I'm not going to use the whole thing. We can always use it to garnish. Alright guys. Let's go ahead and get our sweet relish. Our deal. Just a hint of mustard. Might be a very little hint because I don't think I got any left. All right, here we go. Okay. Some of this red hot sweet chili. And guys, y'all have to go out and get some of this. I'm serious. This is some of the best stuff I've ever eaten. Works great and everything. I shook it up real good as well. Okay. Little dab will do you. Go ahead and get some of uh, the Grey Poupon up in here. All right, and I'm not gonna go a whole hog on the mayonnaise just yet. We'll just add a little bit to taste. All right, guys, a little bit of celery seed. A little bit of pepper. And a salt. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get this incorporated. All right, guys. I guess we're going to go into fast forward right here. salad all mixed up kind of put a little paprika on it a little bit of pepper and to uh, finish it off just for appearances we'll put a little bit more celery celery seed in it let's make it look nice all right guys we're off to the uh, refrigerator and uh, we'll let the flavors marry together real good and then we'll uh, we'll do our chicken wings tonight All right, guys, we'll get right back to you. Okay, guys, we've got our potato salad done. We've got it all mixed up. We got it in the refrigerator chilling. We're letting all the flavors uh, kind of meld together. 
Um, I don't know about y'all, but I think it just takes, tastes so much better like uh, after it's sitting there for a while. And actually my favorite is like the next day, but uh, sort of like Hamburger Helper. I love Hamburger Helper the next day. But anyway, I'm running on here, guys. Uh, what I wanted to do, guys, is uh, actually make myself a, uh, a uh, brining solution here and I just use uh, uh, do it simply I just have some ice cold water here and I've got some uh, some sea salt here and basically what I'll do guys is I'll just take uh, take my sea salt here and just add some to it I'll take it I'll mix it up real good Now one day I'll get an injector and I'll try uh, wolf pits method. I thought that was pretty cool. Okay guys, now what we'll do is we'll take our uh, chicken wings we have here. And I usually get them in a pack and we just try, uh, chop off the, the tip and we'll uh, cut them into uh, the uh, uh, flappers and the uh, the uh, drumsticks but uh, it depends what I'm doing like sometimes if it's just gonna be me and mom and I'm just doing something quick I might throw these out on the barbecue or something but I love fr uh, fried chicken wings guys so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do 24 all right get them down in the poop guys make sure they get in there real good take a little bit of extra water here Let get good and covered all right guys and what we'll do here we'll go ahead and get a cover on it and into the fridge this will go for several hours Mama done made some sweet tea. All right. All right, guys. We'll get okay, right back guys. To We've had our uh, chicken wings, our uh, legs, and our flappers uh, soaking in a brine solution, just a little salt, uh, sea salt and water, uh, cold water. And what I've done is I set up like a little station right here, guys, uh, to uh, pat dry the, uh, the chicken wings. Uh, basically, what I do instead of wasting paper towels, I'll take the, like the sunny paper here, I'll cut it up, and I'll put it underneath of it, and that way I only uh, basically waste only three sheets of. Uh, of uh, paper towel here but uh, let's go ahead and get started here guys let's go ahead and get them out and uh, go ahead and get them drying We got our wing pieces here uh, padded dry. Our, uh, I call them the drumsticks or the leg portion of the wing and the flappers uh, padded dry real good. We just added just a little bit of pepper to them, a little bit of garlic powder. I'm gonna fry the, uh, the leg port portions first. Uh, they take just a hair longer to fry than the flappers do. We've actually got a little workstation made up here. Um, I've got like uh, five eggs, just a splash of milk, and we broke out uh, the original Hooters wing breading. And man, guys, yeah, I don't know, I don't know if some of y'all seen that calf liver video I did, but I actually utilized this stuff on that, and it was out of this world good. Um, I'm going to go be buying me several bags of this stuff. So we've already got it set up in our station here. We've got some uh, some uh, pure canola here in our black iron skillet heating up, and. Uh, Let's go ahead and get our eggs beat up real quick, guys, and then uh, we'll get we'll get to cooking here. All right, guys, I got a little piece of bread floating around in my oil here. Looks like we're good to go on that. Let's get started, guys.
Alright, that's good enough for, for now. I don't want to overcrowd it. Okay guys, let's take a quick peek. Uh, I like utilizing this little uh, cover here. Um, a silicone cover, it's got the holes in it. It, lets it, it allows it to breathe. You probably see the steam coming out of it. But uh, anyway guys, it keeps from uh, splashing grease all over your stove too. So let's take a peek at it. Oh my, 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 Miss American Pie. Look at here. Yeah, we're gonna let them go for another minute or two. Just another minute or two. Hey okay, guys, we're ready to pull these puppies. I got me a little pan with uh, aluminum foil. I'll be able to slide this in the oven, keep them warm, but I've actually got a little paper towel here as well. So check these bad boys out, guys. what I'm talking about. All right guys, let's let these puppies get to brand. Talk to me, girl. Rowie. Get him, boy. They ain't getting on you. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey guys, we'll pull our next batch here. Oh my my my. I'm telling you guys, you gotta get that Hooters uh, ready. Blows everything I've ever had out of the water. And uh, you know, I'm from Kentucky and we usually use Kentucky Colonel here. And uh, I think that's just uh, knocks it completely out of the ballpark. Hey Sarge, Sarge, don't you want to say hey to Lucy? Do you want to say hey to her? Hey girl, what's going on? <laughs> I love it. Hey, hey Troy, Space Cowboy, my brother on here. Uh, man, I appreciate the shout out so much. Uh, Sarge really loved it too. Um, I can't thank you enough. Uh, Keith, I appreciate the shout out, brother. Check it out. Uh, I, I really enjoyed your uh, sausage, uh, sausage uh, gravy and uh, biscuit recipe there. It was fantastic. And I can't thank you guys enough. Um, fellas, I reckon we're ready to, to pull pull our next, uh, our, uh, our, our flappers here. Let's take a peek. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh Look at you there, look at you there. Oh yeah, guys, this is just, mm, out of this world good. All right, let's get them plated up here. Look at the scrumptiousness, guys. How'd you sneak in there? Uh -oh. All right, guys. We can get, get the last of the flappers in, fellas. 
Clapper time. That's tough potato salad, it ought to be good. It's been in there about seven, eight hours now. Kick this heat up just a notch. Put our little cover back on and we'll get right back. Okay guys, we're ready to pull the last of our flappers here. Look at them beautiful things. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, guys, that is next heavenly. If I do say so myself. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's get after it. All right, guys, we got everything over to the table. Uh, the potato salad, uh, nice and cold, uh, and uh, all the flavors have married together. There's our wicked uh, chicken wings that we uh, flowered up with that Hooters original recipe flour. It's fantastic stuff, guys. I'm serious. You really got to try. It. Um, we had some leftovers last night. Um, uh, some cabbage and some uh, carrots here. Uh, we made like a roast last night and got mom plated up here as well. And uh, let's get after it, guys. Cheddar biscuits, too. Okay, yeah. guys, let's get after it here. Oh, <laughs> got a little dippy dippy do on the, on the potato salad there. Let's try it. One down. Try some of this potato mm -hmm. I did real good on that too. A little cabbage. Oh my god, y'all. Let's try a flapper. If I can just pop a fork in there like so. I'll just take it and fold it. Let's see how these bones come out. Look at that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Next level deliciousness. Oh my god, god. I'm sorry. I'll make a pig out of myself with this. I'm here to tell you. I can eat these whole. <laughs> Guys, I can't thank you enough for watching. I appreciate all your support. The friendship, the fellowship, and uh, all the shout outs my great brothers have given me. And uh, I just want to say thank you. And uh, I reckon we'll holler at y'all soon. Y'all come on back now, you hear? All right.